Hi guys, I'm going to change my puddle light, which is fitted here under the side view mirror. It's an easy operation and very cheap. Uh, the housing looks like this. So in order to so it able to be able to take it down, I the easiest way is to remove the actual mirror. And it's only your hands and a little flat screwdriver, <coughs> which is the need for uh, as a tool for doing this. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna unlock the car first. Okay, something like this. So I'm pushing this, the mirror, in. So it will be like a small gap here. Getting my fingers under the gap. Putting like at this uh, uh, back, sorry, back. Now it's loose, so actually the mirror is not hard at all to remove. You have these small white clips that usually loosens, you just push them back. You see. Now, I'm going to show you some more close-up. So, what I'm, what I'm going to do here is to aim for this small gap here, press it and down, and now it's not loose. I think I need both hands for this. It's not coming. You see, see what I'm doing, so... I'm gonna press it straight down and then a bit and it's down. Now I can put this uh, the mirror back because there's no need to have it hanging and breaking any wires. So you have small gaps here that you just check that the, the white pins are So now they're fitted and I just press straight and now the mirror is back and we have the housing. I have already done this yesterday. So like I said, this is the housing. Now in order to fit this T10 fitting. Uh, I bought really, really strong T10s, these ones. Uh, there's actually no use to have LED on both sides because you see the fitting or the housing, it's like no use. And they were too big, so don't buy the biggest one. I bought these ones, what, that was what I found before and they're okay, a little bluish which doesn't match the rest of the car so I I'm gonna show you all my T10s or almost all so you can have like a purple color really nice but they're a bit too weak this is regular shit ones um, the original incandescent T10 uh, some other versions I have. Okay, this one is looking really nice. It's it's a bit more warm white light. Uh, blue, of course, is really really nice. So pick and choose. But the best ones I found was these little suckers. So it's LED on one side. No need for the other side, as I said and uh, T10 so I'm gonna fit this T10 in here start the exterior the light you see here that's good pretty strong the even stronger one it's really strong and if you're a girl maybe a bit cozy 
wrong side. Hmm. Yep. And of course, I love blue. Well, maybe. I don't know how much you can see, but anyway, these ones are good. Now, as these are flat, and I want to have the light on the ground and not on the side of the vehicle. You can easily see when it's dirty and it's not looking good. Keeping it like this, this is the outer side, the flat one, like this, this one, and you put it into this hole. Now, I want this a bit out, so I, I, I uh, twist it a bit, so it's actually going this direction, out, and of course I can also drop the whole thing, anyway, a bit out, and then just get it nice and sealed, don't do it this when it's winter, I did, and I did break the small pin that actually keep it on, in place. then just snap it back and then you're done it's just a couple of minutes really nice and it's a big difference from this incandescent 5 watt lamp so highly recommended and i guess did spiak you're gonna love this if you haven't done it yet cheap fast and a big difference so have a nice day guys thank you any questions let me know